why did you choose to try and qualify? What, what brought you back? Um, the World Championship's a World Championship, and I think that will always have a pull uh, to, to play in it. Because the last match I played at Crucible, I lost 13-2. So I always thought that a kind of unfinished business, not in terms of winning the World Championship, but just playing a good match at the Crucible, because it was a place where I had all my success. So yeah, that, that's a goal, and, and, and I think 800 centuries would, would be nice as well to try and get, so um, we'll see. I'm at the EIS, the English Institute for Sport, for the World Championship Qualifiers. I'm Paul Collier, I'm the Tournament Director for the World Championship Qualifiers this year for the early stages. And then when we get to the Crucible rounds, I'll go back into my own role of refereeing. We have 128 players at this venue, and then they're playing for the right to get to the last 16 of this to play the world's top 16, because the world's top 16 don't have to qualify, so they're already at the Crucible. We're scheduling which matches go on which table. We assign the referees to those. We develop a rotor because we've got, I think it's 24 referees on site this week. And then when it all goes wrong, I'm just sat here to take the blame. Well, Stephen's had to start right at the uh, the very beginning. He's in the very first round. And Stephen hasn't really played much. Um, you know, I know he's got other commitments. He's wanted to enter the World Championship. So because of his ranking, he goes in at the, you know, very much at round one. He deserves to be in it. I think a lot of people have said that, you know, he doesn't play in the tournaments. Why does he get a wild card? Why doesn't somebody else get it? I mean, the wild card was created for Stephen. Um, you know, there's, there's nobody else was ever going to get it. He wasn't going to get given to an amateur or anything. It's because he's a seven-time world champion and, and one of the all-time greats of the game. So I think anybody who really follows the game is, is just glad to see him get his cue out again. I always want to enter the world championship. It, it's a bit special, even though I'm coming in at the very bottom, um, having to win four matches. I play a, a handful of tournaments every, every year. I haven't won a match yet this, this year because I obviously Finding the time to practice and stuff is, is difficult. You know, as a tournament director, I mean, I get the gate, the gate receipts, if you call it, you know, tickets we've sold today. We're probably 150 people more in today than we had this day last year. So it makes a big difference, you know, people have come to see him play again, and, and quite rightly so. I can put bow ties on. <laughs> It's just a, it's a, it's a new one because I forgot mine. Playing another match at the Crucible is the dream. It's a very distant dream. Uh, whether it happens or not, I don't know. I came in today with no expectations. Hopefully I play well. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can take some of the play, some of the cue action from the practice table into the match arena. Why do you think he, he's still trying to qualify now? What, 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 why do you think he's come back? What's the law? I think it's in his blood. I think, you know, he was playing when he was 14. The first time I saw him play, he was only 15. He came to a club in Newport, one of the first exhibitions he ever played. I came and watched that night. And, you know, I think when you've done, when that's all you've done for your career, He's obviously had a couple of years out and realised that he's, he, perhaps he misses it, I don't know. I think it must be quite tough for him because he's obviously not playing anything like he was. But he must believe that there's still something there, you know, he's working hard. So, yeah, good for him, let him have another go. I played probably 10 or 11 days in a row, which is, is, is more than I've done all season. Um, before I went to Hull to work for ITV for the Tour Championships, I had a couple of days at the Academy. Then I went to Hull and I played every day with Ken, um, who was working there as well. We had about an hour, 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 a couple of hours every day. And then I came back to the Academy for a couple of days. So I did more than I have done all season. You know, whether that's enough remains to be seen. I'm Stephen Feeney. I'm here today with Stephen Hendry. We're at the World Championship Qualifiers. It is uh, one of his goals to get back to the Crucible one more time. Yeah, it meant a lot to him to be here today. I joined with Stephen about, I want to say about three or four years now. Um, Mark Williams obviously historically did some great work with Stephen and, and came back one world title. And, he, and, he's, and he, he said to me, look, if you're going to have, you know, come back and play, give it a go. It's a different way of citing um, the shots that, that, that I used to do. The process that I use is, is different to the field method of coaching. I use perfect sighting alignment methods, sightright technology, which makes sure that um, I understand how a player sees straight, they understand how they see straight. When, when I you know, decided to accept a wild card and play, I think I needed something to get my interest going on the practice table, something to work. I think if I just came back and just practiced, went through the motions, it wouldn't be the same. So. To actually have something to work on, I think, makes the practice more interesting. So Mark Williams' success in winning his third world title in 2018 got Stephen's, uh, I, I guess, not his competitive juices, but his playing juices going again. When we first joined up, he said, what do you want from this? And I said, I want to enjoy playing snooker. Um, because I didn't, I was playing so badly. So I've got the enjoyment back in the practice table. It's about getting it back in a match as well. Because when you enjoy it out there, then you're going to play well. So our two goals were and still are, one, for him to enjoy playing and practising and two, to reach the crucible again.
we've we've achieved the first. He's enjoying playing, and he's he's back in the game, and he's he's really enjoying the things that he's doing. It was amazing to start with a century. I mean, two doubles as well. I never get doubles. I mean, that's that's why I never do demos on on, on the channel because I can't play them. Um, so yeah, 777 is way cooler than 776. And I made a nice clearance obviously to win my second frame. But um, yeah, the match is, you know, as I would say when I'm commentating, um, the match is pretty much over. Um, let's just see if I can win a few frames tonight. You know, hopefully pot a few balls, um, you know, win two or three frames, make the score uh, a wee bit better looking. Listen, you never know, I might win two or three, the first two or three frames. He's under pressure and you never know. Let's just go out and see, uh, as I say, Maybe make another century, see how it goes. You start to play a couple of good shots and then you follow it with a bad one and that's really frustrating because you start to feel good and then it's like one step forward, two steps back kind of thing. And, and knowing what I know about the game, I knew if I could win two or three frames tonight, it might put them under pressure. So I, I won two, I got to back to you know, nine four at the interval um, and had two or three chances to win the next frame. Because I know that the last frame is the most difficult frame to win. With those four frames, you got to say, was that more than maybe you thought coming into it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've, I've, I think I've won one or two frames all season in the matches. They've been short matches, best of sevens and stuff. So um, I suppose you always you don't want to come here and lose ten nil um, because that would be that would be horrible. Obviously, I've got to look at the highlights. You know, starting off with a century. Um, Nice 75 break to, to pinch one frame. Should have had another century tonight. I was really frustrated with that. There was bits and pieces there that were that were that were good, that are encouraging enough. It's like golf. You play rubbish all day and then you play one good shot and that brings you back. It's like there was enough there to sort of make you want to keep going. 777th yeah. career century, like still get that same buzz as number one. Yeah, I think I think it's making it as I say the are few and far between these days. So um yeah, it was it was nice, and I say seven 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 is a lot a lot cooler than seven seven six. But um, yeah, hoping to do more. I think next season when I do play tournaments, I'm going to have to play more with players. Play more. Um, I had some days at the academy, Ding Ding Junhui's academy, with some top Chinese players, and, and I found it good fun uh, to be playing with top players again. Obviously, I, where I am, I don't get to do that. So apart from needing a new queue, which my queue is in terrible condition, it's bent and it's the the, the ferrule's gone and it makes a horrible sound. So together with a new queue and a different preparation in terms of sort of more match practice against top players, I think um, we'll see how that goes. You'll be back next year. Yeah, yeah, I've got I've got a year left on my wild card, so um, I'll play tournaments next year. Won't play in every single one probably because I have other commitments, but um, I'll definitely be back here for qualifying for the world championship next year, and uh, yeah, hopefully with more intense uh, work done in the background. Delighted to say, uh, in conjunction with World Snooker, got a tremendous uh, prize to give away. We've got two tickets to the new Century Club uh, at the World Championship for the 19th of April, where the likes of Judd Trump and Mark Selby uh, will be playing. Uh, all you need to do is please subscribe to World Snooker and Stephen Hendry Q-Tips official channel and leave a comment saying clear up and win the frame. Good luck, guys. Hope to see you at the Crucible.